Kern says that he has changed his advertising policies, removing his likeness after we exposed how he used taxpayer money to purchase thousands of radio spots with his voice on top of a lot of print ads that used his picture, both of those illegal. Today, the Erie County Democratic Party Chairman Jeremy Zellner asked the state attorney general to do a full investigation because the law says if you violate the rules here, the AG can seek civil fines through courts that could add up actually to millions of dollars. Zellner also argued that this unfairly impacted the clerk's race last year that Kearns won because he used taxpayer money on these ads that very well may have impacted the campaign. I'm calling on the, the New York State Attorney General, to, Letitia James, to do a full-on investigation into this. The fact that an election last year was altered by somebody's illegal activity here, it's going to make a difference. It's going to make people uh, see his name and continue to move his name recognition up, where um, I think it, it played a role in the election last year. You know, you see ads for the state of New York constantly. You see ads for Erie County. You see ads for Erie County Parks. You see that stuff happen, but you don't see the governor on them. You don't hear the governor on them, and you don't see the county executive on them, or you don't hear from the county executive. To his credit, Kearns did a 30-minute interview with me when we broke this story two days ago. He didn't run from it. He said hindsight is 2020 and that he didn't knowingly break the law. But he also criticized others in county government for also not catching this. He called out the legislature, the county executive, the comptroller, budget director, and others. We'll have Zellner's response to that coming up new at 6.